the tires. I got the jacks ready. Oh shit. Oh damn it. Hey gang, I'm back with another one and today, today I'm going to be finally putting on those bimbos. So I already took the two front wheels off, I already put the stands down, also got another stand right in the middle. Oop. So what I did already, I took some WD-40 and I start, started to soak the nuts because um, they looked really rusty and old. This is a 2015, so it's about seven years old. And I will be removing the spindle, um, changing the uh, rotor to the SRT rotor, SRT spindle, and Brembo's. All right, stay tuned, gang. The rotor I already took off the caliber, very easy. It was a 21 uh, millimeter bolt um, on the back end of the actual spindle. And then it was, a, I think, a 22 millimeter. No, I think it was smaller. No, it was a half inch. Excuse me a half inch for the bolts um that actually holds the caliber and yeah so next thing i'm going to do now is loosen up um the top jaw um ball joint i do have to go rent the tool because i'm not into hitting none of this up here so i'm going to go rent that tool out so i can take off because it's not just one it's three ball joints i have to take off it's this one right here and two at the bottom so Yes, yeah, already soaked the nuts. Um, they're actually popping off real easy um, due to soaking them a little bit before I actually uh, go into them. So yeah, I'm almost done. When the whole full spindle's off, I'll be back. And um, yeah, let's go. What's up, gang? Gang, I'm back again. Day two. I had a couple um, pauses that made me have to, you know, stop. So today I have to go grab an 18 millimeter. Um, open in and also grab the ball joint puller. So I'm about to go to AutoZone right now um, That's all I needed to finish taking off the spindle um, I am gonna be doing an unboxing. I still haven't opened the spindle kit yet, but I will be doing an unboxing today gang So yes, if you stay in tune, this is day two. It shouldn't take uh, I don't think I'm gonna be on day three I think I should finish this side and start on that side and probably possibly finish today it's fairly easy. It's not that hard. All you need is some WD-40 and the right tools, and it's a go. Out of zone. Let's get this ball joint remover and uh, get back to this uh, project, gang. Eh? Let's go. Okay, gang. So I'm back from the store. I had to rent out a couple tools from Auto Zone, so I uh, end up renting out the tie rod puller and the ball joint separator. Also, I have to get some more tools. And grab some um, dot four uh, price stone mats. So we should be ready to go and finish today. Okay. Just got that nut removed. Now I have to remove this and this one right here, and then one more at the bottom. All right. Easy peasy. It's not too bad. This one is a size 18 millimeter. I'm using an open end. All right. Okay, gang, so I'm back. I removed all the nuts already. I got this one taken off. This one taken off. Okay, so now I'm about to get the tools that I rented out so I can pull off the tie rod and ball joints. I did have to take off the splash guard or whatever that thing is so I can get in um, closer with this bolt right here. This one, that one, and this one are 21 millimeter bolts. This one is 18 millimeter bolt. All right. I'm almost done, gang. I just gotta pop these off, take this off, and put the new one on. Let's go. Okay, gang, I'm gonna finally open these boxes. I got a little cutter tool. Let's go. Let's get into it. Please. 
should be a spindle. Appreciate you wrapping it up like that, my guy. And I had these for about a month now. I haven't even opened this box. So it could have been anything in here, honestly. Wrapped it up with shirt. We wrapped it up with paper towels. This thing is heavy too, by the way. Alright. I'll see him down there. Okay, let's open the second box. This should be the backs. Even the cushion. This should be the back. Alright gang, I'm about to open these up and come right back. Okay gang, I'm back. He did an excellent job. I mean, damn. Look, he made sure that these things was going to stay safe. So that's what he had it in. A whole bunch of newspaper and old t-shirts. So, here's the SRT spindles. Okay, we're the back. And here's everything open. So I did let it sit a long time and the boot looked like it ripped. I don't know if this is gonna be okay. It's gonna rip pretty bad. But um, those are in great shape. I'm really satisfied with them. And here go the back. So I'm almost ready to put this on. All the bolts are off. All I gotta do is use the puller, pull them off, swap them. Let's go. As soon as I turned the camera off, the tension from the nut just popped off. I go back out of going to get a bigger. Mm. This one is called arm pull. So yeah, Pittman arm puller. I had to get that. And I also got another one just in case. I don't think I'm gonna have to open it. I think this one's gonna work. So I just gotta take this one off and one more. And then this whole spindle is off keys home so I don't really got that much room but I am determined to get this fender off today. Today is 5 6 2020. Let's go. That literally took two seconds with the new tool. This one is the one you want to get. Um the Pitman um arm puller. Two seconds. I've been trying and trying two seconds. That's all it took was two seconds with the right tool. So we got one more right there and one more down there. Okay, finally got that one ticking off. Now I'm on my last one right here. Right there, it's gonna come off fairly easy with this new puller. This puller is pretty great. All right, let's go.
Switch the lines, I already have the lines. And just put like just plug and play. Just reverse. This was a sensor I gotta clean up. Alright. 